gospel of life, incorruption, immortality, and sonship with the bondservant of Christ, John Anosike. I've done regular studies on the life of Jesus. Because for me, Jesus is a very successful leader that one should ever and would continue to imitate his leadership skills and standards. Anytime that I have the privilege, I go through the synoptics as often as I can. For those of you who don't know what synoptics is, synoptic gospel is uh, Matthew, Luke, Mark, and John, okay? You see, the synoptic gospels have the entire history of Jesus' ministry and his leadership, how he lived his life, how he responded to gossipers, how he responded to issues of life, and how his leadership you know, uh, um, uh, took place. So one can look into that volumes of the books to learn how Jesus lived on earth, how he walked on earth, and how he dealt with the things of this world. And often I look into the volumes of the ministry of Christ to derive eternal wisdom. I love to respond to things like Jesus responded to things. I, I would like to take a position from the positions that Jesus took. I would have to dispose, uh, dispose or respond or reciprocate to everything that ever comes my way as Jesus would do it. The reason is because if Jesus did it, he didn't do it for himself. Everything Jesus did in the word of the Lord or as written in the scriptures, he didn't do it for himself. Jesus is God in human form. And when Jesus took that human form, he came to show us the way it is done in human form. He is the perfect example of how we ought to live, how we ought to respond to things, and how we ought to carry ourselves in this human form. So Jesus will continue to be the example. In fact, I want to say that he would continue to be the perfect example on how every human should respond to any circumstance. And if we don't uh, align ourselves with the cultures, principles, exhibitions, and dispositions of Jesus, then we are going to be in the wrong disposition and we will continue to be in constant errors. And uh, in fact, somebody once asked me and said, what is sin? What is death? I said, sin leads to death. And I said, what is sin? And sometimes our concept of sin is for the only fornication or lies or murder or some kind of manipulation. Let me tell you something. Every time you commit fornication or adultery, see what you have done. You have disengaged yourself from the will of God concerning your human existence. You have drifted away from the radar of life, joy, peace, and harmony. And when you have done that, it means that you have intentionally walked out of self-control, righteousness, morality, into darkness and by doing such you've exposed yourself to a certain level of darkness and then that darkness opens the door for satanic attack invasion manipulation and distortions of your future so when god says i present before you life and death joy and restlessness peace and hate prosperity and poverty it is a choice that we make between these two options we have a choice to make so when i look into the lifestyle of jesus i see 
my ways of life in him. I see the choices I must make in the choices he made. I see the patterns I must create and follow in the patterns that Jesus created. I see the footsteps of Christ that I must follow. Now, it doesn't matter if I'm a pastor because sometimes we think that because we are pastors, we are somewhere somehow spatially exempted from consequences. It's a lie. That's why you see pastors die. Suddenly they are sick. It's, it's not because God deserted them or what. There is some things that they did that led to the consequences of their actions. You see, somewhere, somewhere we are lying to ourselves. If I don't practice what I preach, I will be held responsible for what I have preached and known in the scriptures, but I don't practice it. The reason why the entire church seems to be sick, the body of Christ seems to be sick, and the world seems to be in a better health is because the church has refused to walk in the knowledge of the truth that they have received in the word of God. I tell you some differences between the church and the world. There's a possibility that God might be more gracious on the world and unbelievers and a little less gracious on the church folks. You know what? Because the Bible says in the days of ignorance, God overlooks. But when you have come to the knowledge of the truth, you have tested the Holy Ghost. You have tested the convictions of God. You've been through the presence of the Spirit. And still, you intentionally live in lies, manipulations, and unrighteousness. It means that you have substituted the flow of God's grace and you have made the word of God of non effect and you have told the word that that which you have received has no power. Special announcement from the office of the bond servant of Christ, John Anosike. Please beware of fake accounts on social media, be it Facebook, YouTube, and all others impersonating the man of God, asking for funds from people. Please note, Pastor John does not have any orphanage in Nigeria or in any country, nor does he ask anyone to donate to any orphanage. Also note that the only official page of the man of God, Pastor John Anosike, is the one with over 451,000 followers. Our YouTube channel also has over 155,000 subscribers. Note that the man of God does not chat, send friend requests, nor inbox people on social media, be it messenger or WhatsApp. Therefore, anyone doing such is false and should be treated as such. This is a notice that you are informed and sensitized to be alert and vigilant. Stay connected and keep subscribing to the teachings of the bond servant of Christ, John Anosike. Due to malicious and fraudulent activities, please note that these are the only official two accounts of the ministry. For EFT or Bank Transfer, Bank, First National Bank, FNB, Account Name, New World Faith Ministries, Account Number, 622-67035048, Branch, Woodstock, Branch Code, 250655, Swift Code, FIRNZA, JJ, Building Project Banking Details, City of Sons, Bank, First National Bank, FNB, Account Name, New World Faith Ministries, Account Number, 623-569-03578, Branch Code, 250655, Branch, Woodstock, Swift Code, FIRNZA, JJ, to give online, Kindly visit our website and use the following link www.spiritrevelationchurch.org forward slash give. Here you can give via PayFast for those that are in Southern Africa and PayPal for international donations. Good news for all those living in West Africa. For your giving and donations, 
Here are the only official and approved banking details. Name Ikechuku John Anosike Account number 11700020753 Bank Zenith Bank Please note that the following is our official and only PayPal email for the ministry. Donations at spiritrevelationchurch.org Kindly report any suspicious activities to our emergency line plus 27634235895 or email info at spiritrevelationchurch.org.